I was raised to not question this book. And if you're from the South, or if you have family from the South, or if you just have uh, black people who have been raised um, through our different areas of the United States, um, from our roots, we have been taught to uh, respect and reverence this this Bible. And honestly, um, I have been a follower of um, you know, all the truth ever since I was, you know, young had been introduced to me. So, um, I always followed it and I've been, you know, in, uh, Pentecostal churches, Baptist churches, Methodist churches. And, um, and one thing being young that I always realized, God is God everywhere. And people have different truths of God. So even then I knew that everything is in truth. Everything is in truthful. But you know what? The day I found out that this is not all true hurt me as a as a man, as an individual, you know, just growing up and what I learned and what I was taught and what was brainwashed in my head and what I seen people who said that they believed um, in the book do to others of different colors and of the same race. And um, a lot of people who would protest and a lot of people who wouldn't understand um, a person's liberation once they seen the truth or once they understand it, uh, they haven't even read it. They haven't read it from, from the beginning to the end. They only got favorite uh, scriptures or what they was told or they know a couple parts out or they'll pick out what they feel that will relate to their lives without actually just being transparent and just saying, okay, um, we are sinners. We are child, child and children uh, of God. And, um, and God gave us instructions how to treat one another and how to serve him. Um, and a lot of times, uh, man will make his own agenda. I mean, it's what it is. Just let the truth of reality be what it is. A man will use religion, will use money, will use love, will use whatever he can to to achieve a purpose. So, I just say that I was raised to, book, to believe this with no doubts. And the day I found out that, you know, that it wasn't always true and that it was uh, manipulated by men to uh, accomplish a purpose. You know, it, it just let me know that in life you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Now, am I saying that I don't believe? Yeah, I believe. But I believe that I know that the Bible isn't all the way 100% truth. I feel like it's fragments of the truth, just like the Quran and other um, holy and uh, sacred articles uh, that was passed down. I feel like we got fragments of the truth from generations and generations and generations uh, from, you know, 500 uh, to 300,000 years ago, you know what I mean, honestly. And I feel like, you know, a person would manipulate something and change things to benefit their greater good greater gain or control of a people so all I'm saying is um, I recognize the truth and to those who are still uh, believing that it is undoubtedly 100% truth you know what I mean all I can say is you know God have mercy on you keep an open mind and uh, just know what real is you know what I mean? Just know what reality is. Just know that once you learn, don't be hard on somebody that doesn't know. And, yeah, it's going to hurt you. You know what I mean? The more things you learn about your truth, uh, your people, your family, your friends, you know, different realities of life will hurt you once you realize, like, damn, is this how it is? But don't get discouraged. 
God is still, God, he is still sitting high, looking down low, and he haven't forgot about us, you know, so treat your fellow man right, you know, do what's in your heart, and we have truths out there, follow your truth, if it's true to you and it feels right to you, follow your truth, you know what I mean, but there is a creator, there is a father, there is a God of all, you know, and I do believe that he left us principles, basic instructions. Hold on, Black Phoenix.